I was like, I I'm, I'm about to fight you. Like, I'm gonna fight you. Which makes absolutely no sense to me. And I was pretty So I ended up calling customer service a second time. I guess. I want a little like Hey guys, what's up? It has been three months since I first planned this video. Many months later. But it's finally here. My Fabletics 2 for 24 review slash journey. Tacked on the journey part at the end because I really didn't think it would take three months to get to this point for me to finally receive these leggings. Um, but we're here now. So, you know, I'm here to tell you all about that journey, the hurdles I had to go through, VIP logistics, customer service, and of course, how the leggings themselves are. Let me start from the beginning. On April 22nd, yes, that exact date because I saw my order history, I finally gave in to all of the Facebook advertisements for Fabletics 2 for 24 leggings deal. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this deal, essentially Fabletics will allow you to buy your first two pairs of leggings for $24 when you sign up to be a VIP member. They say it's a limited time offer, but I'm pretty sure it's been running for a few years now, so... But before you take advantage of this deal, right, you want to understand what being a VIP member means. So let me just briefly explain that. If you've seen my Pop Fit leggings review, um, if you haven't seen it yet, you can right up here. Maybe get some free leggings out of it. The Fabletics VIP membership service works very similarly to Pop Fit's. What you will have to do is you'll be billed $49.95 every single month to get a personalized outfit choice sent to you. Um, you also get some free returns, free shipping, and discounts on their products as a VIP member. But the key here is that if you don't want an outfit that month, you have two choices. One, you can still pay that $49.95 and you'll get one membership credit that rolls over and you can use on an outfit at a future date. Or two, you have to skip the month. You have to skip the month between the first and the fifth of every single month, otherwise you'll be charged. So for me, I have a Google Calendar reminder set up on the first of every single month because I really don't need that many athletic clothes and I don't want to be paying $50 every month. Um, and that reminds me to just go into my account and click that skip that month button. It's super, super easy. And then of course, if you don't want to be a member at all anymore, you can always cancel your subscription. You have to call customer service. You can't do it online. Um, but I'll get to my thoughts on customer service in a little bit. But back to the story now. In April, like I said, I ordered two pairs of leggings. They were both black Trinity high rise, one in the seven eighth cut and one in the normal cut. And because of the pandemic and shutdowns, I knew it would take a while for them to ship here. So they arrived about a month later and I was just happy that they came in. And so I tried them on and you'll see them here. Okay, so this is the Trinity high-waisted legging, a size small. I ordered it because I really liked the pockets back here that like you can put your phone um, but as you can see it is very form fitting it's very snug so that was only one pair of leggings but both leggings pretty much fit the same um, I really liked the pockets and the features on these leggings, but they were just way too tight. Now, these leggings fall in the Motion 365 category. Fabletics has divided their leggings into different categories based on the fabrics that they're using. Um, and the Motion 365 category is the second highest compression. So maybe that's why they were so tight, but I decided that I needed to exchange them and size up. So I tried to do that online. It should have been a simple process, but after I exchanged the first pair, it wouldn't let me do the second. And I was like, what's going on? Why is the website glitching? So I called customer service and I was actually super anxious because I had read everywhere that customer service takes forever for Fabletics. But honestly, truth be told, I was really pleasantly surprised when they picked up like two minutes later. I barely had to wait. But then I, I was all stern and serious and I was like, hello, what's up with this internet glitch? Like, why can't I exchange my second pair of leggings? And they told me that I could only exchange my leggings one at a time, that I had to wait for the first one, the first exchange to come in before I could place the order on the second one, which makes absolutely no sense to me. And I was pretty frustrated because I was like, uh, excuse me, it's gonna take at least like a month for the first exchange to come in. So how long am I gonna have to wait to actually exchange both pairs of leggings? And I was not wrong. I, I did have to wait a long time. <laughs> So a month later, my first exchange came in. I sized up the Trinity 7 8 cut into the same style, just in a bright blue and a size medium. And then I tried it on. So this is the Trinity mid-rise. It's quite large. But if I safety pin the back about an inch, 
It fits, I guess. <laughs> As you can see, it was way too big. <laughs> like the difference between the small and the medium was huge. I, I didn't understand, um, but I wasn't about to wait another two months to process more exchanges. So I sucked it up and actually ended up sewing the back. Um, here, I'll show you guys a close up right now. This is what it looks like. It's pretty ratchet because I'm, I'm not that great at sewing. <laughs> But if you've seen my TXT workout video, you'll see that they are fine now. Like they really pop in my workout videos. They stay up, they're the perfect size for me. So I guess we're all good. <laughs> and then I tried to exchange my second pair of leggings. This was quite frustrating because I got this email on July 2nd almost a month after I processed the exchange saying, sorry, your exchange was canceled. I was like, I I'm, I'm about to fight you. Like, I'm gonna fight you. What, what, excuse me? I was so annoyed because I exchanged the item on June 11th. So why did it take almost a month for them to tell me that the item that I wanted was out of stock and they couldn't give it to me? Like it should have been done much earlier. So now they gave me the credit for that pair of leggings, which was only $12 because I ordered it from the two for $24 deal. And I was like, well, what can I buy for $12 now? Because the deal no longer applies on the items on my account. So what am I supposed to do? So I ended up calling customer service a second time. I went a little like this. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Fabletics, how can we help you? Hello? Hi, yes, this is Fabletics. What can I do for you today? Yeah, hi, I'm Vivian. Uh, I ordered some leggings on your Fabletics 2 for $24 deal, and then tried to exchange a pair, and it said it was canceled. I know I only have $12 in my account. Can I still, like, get another pair of leggings from that? Oh, don't worry, ma'am. If you let me know which leggings you want, I can just adjust the price right here to $12 and place that exchange for you. Honestly, as you can probably tell from that rendition, I was really shocked that it was that simple. Like, I thought I was gonna have to throw hands and fight customer service for this. And after talking to customer service about the different types of leggings that I could get, they actually helped me decide on what would be the best fit. So for me, I decided to do a Sculptnik classic legging in lipstick red. And this one is less compression, so I thought it would be a little bit better than the Eternity leggings for me. And about two weeks later, here I am with these leggings. The shipping did finally return to normal, so I didn't have to wait too much to get these leggings. And I tried them on. This is a medium sculpt knit in lipstick red. It's one of those where you can um, cut your own hem. I haven't yet, but I will. Doesn't have any pockets, but it holds very firm. Um, I will also say it's kind of weird that this is a medium. If you remember how big the medium, the blue pants were, these are way tighter. So I don't really know if athletic sizing is just a little whack or what. <laughs> But just be aware of that when you order the leggings. They might not be the size you want. You might have to deal with exchanges that will take forever. <laughs> okay, and that actually brings us to the end of my Fabletics journey. Three months later, after making that first two for 24 leggings purchase. So my key takeaways from all this, well, I really like the leggings, I don't love the fit. Like the small and the medium, it's not consistent. You're gonna have to try them on. I really hated the weight, but I surprisingly didn't mind talking to customer service to work out my problems. And like I said, I'm still a member. So at the end of the day, Fabletics did something right to keep me here. Of course, this video is not sponsored at all. This is just my honest opinion of my entire journey with Fabletics. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I feel like I'm an expert now on the ins and outs of the two for $24 deal. <laughs> and if you like this video, if you learned something, if you think you'll try out the Fabletics membership yourself or have already done it, leave me a comment, give me a big thumbs up, and of course hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.